Helen, you actually know Lisa Clavenus. What have been your thoughts on what she said today? Well, first of all, I'm very proud of her because I, I know you need a lot of courage to stand up amongst men because the, most of these people are men sitting there doing nothing for football, just sitting there enjoying their free lunch. So I'm proud of her. She's a former footballer. She's been a, a very good representative of us footballers throughout the years. She's a, she's a learned lawyer and we've had a big debate in Norway, as, as you know, and she had... A, she had a mandate for, uh, from our assembly here in Norway to go and, and do this. And I think she did it with, with dignity. And, but let's be honest, this is not like she's like a revolutionary. What she says is just common sense. The problem is there is no one else saying that. They don't dare to say that. And, and Gab got a good summary of, of it all. But Lisa Klavnes is just doing the obvious thing. I mean, we, can, we love football, but there's not a lot of people love FIFA. And that, that is just fact, because we don't believe them. And Gab said, what will, do, what will happen when the circus leaves town? We know what's happening. We just have a look at the history. I mean, this is always the best World Cup this and the best World Cup that. And yes, Infantino can say that they're not around anymore. The, the guys who put this to Qatar, I, th I think Qatar will do the, try to do their best. But this, this they should never had the World Cup in the first place because that process choosing them and Russia at that time from the people who voted for that, they are more or less all in prison or very close to being in prison or taken out to some Swiss hotels, thrown out of FIFA. Can you imagine how, how stupid you must be to be thrown out of FIFA? Uh, as, uh, Gerb, just to go back to what Jan was saying there, that this story, it's something that isn't new. We've heard it before. We have seen journalists reporting on it. Obviously, this was an FA head. How much do you think the story will overshadow the World Cup as we get closer and closer to it? I mean, look, uh, it's, it's difficult to tell. People are talking about this. Uh, Jan's absolutely right. Uh, I think perhaps more questions should have been asked in 2010 and immediately afterwards, you know, when there was still time to go and correct this. because. Uh, we know we had the Garcia inquiry, unfortunately came out way late, I think in 2017, that basically found that, and I go back to this, uh, between 2018 and 2022, every single bid, every single bid, including, by the way, the England bid, the U.S. bid, every single bid had major irregularities, uh, with the exception of the, uh, of, of the Dutch, uh, the Holland-Belgium bid, um, and I think possibly the Japan bid. And that's it. So we know... Every, every, a lot of bad stuff went on. So then the question is, you know, is it right that people go and use World Cups for political reasons? They always have to some degree. And FIFA took the line once they took over, we can't take the World Cup away. And Russia was one year away, obviously Qatar um, five years away, the wheels were in motion. So they did, they, they say that they really set forth and they said, uh, and the Qataris as well, how do we improve the situation, especially with the migrant workers? Uh, and they turned to trade unions and they got these people in and they got rid of some laws. They've they've certainly improved worker conditions. The big question, though, is what happens when the spotlight's gone? And I think the uh, the, the head of the Norwegian uh, FA made a great point. You know, she said it was external pressures that caused this change. It was a shining the spotlight on the fact that Qatar had the World Cup, that people asked, well, wait a minute, these beautiful build buildings you see behind me, who's building them? Under what conditions? How much are they paid? Can they be paid a fair wage, given that Qatar has one of the highest per capita incomes in the world? And that brought about positive change. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.